Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 28th December, the Indian Air Force successfully test fired the extended range version of BrahMos air launch missile, carrying out a precision strike against a ship target from a Su-30 MKI aircraft in Bay of Bengal region. The missile achieved the desired mission objectives. This task was achieved through a team effort of Indian Air Force, Indian Navy, DRDO, BAPL, and HAL. The test of extended range BrahMos was also conducted previously on 12th May 2022. So this is second test of BrahMos extended range missile from Su-30 MKI. Now we all know that the modern era aerial warfare demands for maximizing lethality, extended standoff range, and pinpoint accuracy. In this backdrop, BrahMos Aerospace and Indian Air Force have developed a new air-launched extended-range version of BrahMos missile for Su-30 MKI fighter aircraft. This version of BrahMos would reportedly have a range close to 800 km. The Su-30 MKI having a combat radius of 3000 km, the extended-range missile will enable the fighter jet to hit target beyond 3800 km. Now, this will also enable Su-30 MKI to perform said or dead mission, destroying the enemy's surface-to-air missile site at ease. At the same time, it would prove deadly against the Chinese vessels in Indian Ocean. BrahMos and Su-30 MKI in itself is a deadly combination. A Su-30 MKI, which is the backbone of Indian Air Force, is a bigger and very powerful platform. Indian Air Force has raised a Tiger Shark squadron of Su-30 MKI modified to launch from host missile in the year 2020. The squadron is strategically placed down south in Tanjavur, Tamil Nadu to protect the India's maritime interest and deter the growing presence of Chinese warship in the Indian Ocean region. The Tiger Sharks squadron has 18 fighter jets with 6 Su-30 MKI modified to launch from host missile. At present, Indian Air Force operates 40 Su-30 MKI with capability to launch from host missile. India has enhanced the range of BrahMos missile recently, which can go beyond 500 km with just an upgrade in its software. Indian Air Force is also looking to upgrade 20 Su-30 MKI to be able to launch BrahMos missile. The modified Su-30 MKIs will have electronic circuits capable of withstanding even nuclear electromagnetic pulse. The work is also in progress to increase the range of BrahMos missile to 1500 km. On 4th October, the Chief of Air Staff has also said that the midlife upgrade of first 84 Su-30 MKI will begin in the year 2026. The design and development will take another 4-5 to five years. The Su-30 MKI upgrade program is work in progress and Indian Air Force is continuously defining the ASQRs for the upgrade. The process of acquisition of any air asset by Indian Air Force starts with the formulation of user requirement which is called ASQR or Air Staff Qualitative Requirements. The ASQR is the most crucial stage in defense acquisition process as it determines the quality, price and competition. The upgrade will be done indigenously with indigenous weapons and electronic warfare system. In last 10 years, HL, DRDO and Indian Air Force have added new weapons and sensors like Astra and BrahMos without help from foreign OEMs. Recently, we have also seen the video of Trials of Astra Mark II from Su-30 MKI. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.